Welcome back one and all, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Antherian. This is part of our Lunchtime Let's Play series. In the last video we cleared out part of this mine of undead scumbags, but we're going to continue doing that because that is our job apparently. Excellent, good job. Lockpicking that door, that was excellent. Didn't have to quick load or anything. I like saving a lot because I hate backtracking if I die. Ah, oh, treasure chest. Bunch of monies. I have been thinking about buying Hearts of Iron 4. I don't know if any of you guys play it, but if you do, let me know how it is, because I'm I'm sort of wavering on it. I'm in a bit of a World War II kick lately. Damn it. And I was kind of hoping there'd be a game to fill that void, and Hearts of Iron looks pretty damn fun. And it's from Paradox, who I love. I'm a little bit of a Paradox fanboy nowadays. Didn't used to be. Their games were very confusing, and they still are. Like, I still don't fully understand um, Europa Universalis 4? 3? 4? 5? Something like that. Or Crusader Kings 2? Or is it Europa Universalis? Oh, uh, whatever. EU4 and uh, Crusader Kings 2. Those are extraordinarily confusing games for me. I'm sure I could figure them out if I applied myself, but I just don't have the requisite hundreds of hours to figure that out with. So, I'm hoping for a balance between the ease of Stellaris, which is a pretty easy game to learn and play, and uh, Crusader Kings 2. Hopefully, like, a, a you know, halfway between the two would be okay. I just don't want to spend hundreds of hours to learn a game. I would like to... I like to be somewhat intuitive. I know there's games that take hundreds of hours to master. I'm well aware of that, but I'd like it to be accessible enough that I could learn how to play within, you know, like a couple hours. So if it is like that, let me know, and I want to try it out. If not, also let me know that so I'm not putting my hopes into it for... Oh, shit. There's a skeleton. That was an easy fight. I'll take the flowers and we're gonna move on. A ah, barrel. Food, I like food. Food is important. We've spent a lot of food on this trip so far. Also, this is a very long hallway. There is something cool at the end of it. Why are there so many branching hallways? This looks like a room full of fighting. I was correct. There are five enemies here. Two. Perfect. Excellent. Everything's looking peachy. That might have been a bad idea. I'm just hoping our black mage doesn't get hit too much. Please don't kill my white mage either. I need her. Okay. Let's turn on that guy. You're gonna go one, two, three. Man, really? I can like it. What about Inferno? It's gonna hit most of them. I wish I'd stayed one more over. Like if I had gone here instead of here, I could hit all of them. Oh well. And who do we heal up? Let's heal up our black mage, because I have a feeling our white mage is about to get punched to death. It's not like she can survive very many attacks. That's exactly what happened. She probably wouldn't have lived even if we'd healed her. Oh, come on. Of all the times to miss... Alright, fine. There's only three enemies left. Hello. This is not looking great. But that's what kiting's for. Black Mage! I need you to just take that guy out. Yay, the fighter's coming after us. And we'll have no problem taking him down. Mm, do we have enough for a spell? No. Life tap! If he can live, he can maybe cast a spell. Stay back. Frost skeleton scum. Really? <laughs> Alright, fine, whatever. Okay. Back to our archer being the MVP. 
How many hit points does he have left? Does he even have to survive an attack, really, is the question. Should be enough. Really? Cool, it didn't attack. Okay, need to heal. Do I have any healing potions? Yes. Awesome. Should be able to win this next round, hopefully. Perfect. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Found some food, we're gonna use that to rest. Fights are getting a little bit, uh... more dangerous. We need to freeze some of them. I think crowd control is something we should heavily invest in, because I think... we've gotten a little too... Can't do all right, travel. Uh, I think we've become a little bit too complacent with our ability to just massacre everything in our paths, and uh, things are going a little more deadly nowadays. So, crowd control. Let's go just blood this way. That's not a good sign. Oh, blood leading to a barrel. Now, why did I pick up the rock? Where's the rock? Who has the rock? Somebody dropped the rock. Man, we are running out of room really badly. Um, do you even have a cloak on yet? No, there you go, plus one intellect. And I need the arrows to go to him. We only have 67 arrows left. We're gonna have to purchase some when we get to town, probably. It's a random skeleton in the middle of nowhere. Okay. That's a rock. Again. But yeah, so let me know about uh, Hearts of Iron 4. The big things I'm looking for in it are not supremely complicated, but with the depth. Um... And will it sate my World War II lust that has sprouted up for some reason? Where are we going? How many more skeletons can there possibly be in this place? This looks like an encounter area, so we're going to quick save. There are several enemies. Okay. Actually, you know what? Heal him. That's just a pain in the ass. Ow. Okay, let's finish off the polar bear. I should say polar bear number one. This is a nice group for firing and I'm frostbitten. That's annoying. Let's do that. Three. Flame pillar. Cool. He's completely out of mana though now, so... Take that with a grain of salt. It was pretty cool, but now he's kind of useless. He might die, actually. 70... Okay, we'll take on that one. Heal her up. Whew. He's almost dead. Should probably drink a potion. And... Yes! Down to two enemies. She really does no mana left, so... At least they're not shooting my fighter. That is a plus. Now there's just one left. Easy enough fight now. Nice. Survived with one hit point. Fancy. What's this? A locked chest with hard difficulty. Alright. Nope. We'll do two attempts per save. 
because I don't want to break all my lockpicks. Yes, we can afford more now, but it's just a pain. I always hated lockpick mechanics. There we go. A ruby, some gold, and some potion. How many more enemies are in this? Let's play a game. How many more enemies are in this stupid dungeon? Let's rest. Three more food down. We're going to have to buy a bunch more food when we get to town. We've been using a lot of it, actually. I think we still have tons of food, but... At the same time, we don't want to run out. Our journal. Nope. Still not done. Hasn't given us the thing, the A OK to go home. There's also paths clearly up here we haven't taken yet. This is a big area though. Also, why is there so much snow inside the mine? That makes no sense at all. Snow can. Are we being followed by an enemy? That was weird. Kind of cool. Didn't expect that, actually. Intriguing. That leads back to the beginning. Don't really need a torch. We actually have a lot of lanterns lying around. Have we done this area? We'll take a quick glance around. Make sure there's no paths we missed. I don't want to hit town and then them being like, Hey, you didn't kill all the undead. There's still one skeleton in the corner. You missed it. And then I would be like, how would you possibly know that? Unless you're omniscient, in which case, why don't you go take care of the skeletons? Because clearly, you have some pretty decent powers, and if you're omniscient, you can see everything. You'd never be surprised. You could literally, like, tell everyone, just grab, like, a couple adventurers, and tell them exactly where every fight would be. Also, there's another path up here we missed. So let's quick save. You could always bring the right set of items or people to every situation. It would be amazingly useful. You could easily be one of the best commanders in the whole world if you could see everything in an omniscient manner. Be sweet. Uh, there's nothing that way. Maybe we're done. Just heal him up a tiny bit. He's hurting. Just a teensy. There's nothing up this way, I don't think. No, just that one room. So I think we might be... Done this place? I'm just watching my minimap to see if there's any clearly obvious things we've missed. Although I suppose going the other way would have been better. I guess I, th I think we might be done. I think we might have killed everything. I mean, it's worth a shot. I would like to go back to town. We are full up on equipment. We're full up on inventory. Sp well, there might be something down here. Nope. Okay. Let's find our way out. We'll head back to town and then... Uh, I think we've done this video. We'll make this one a tiny bit longer than normal. God, I wish I had mark and recall. I would go to town. Every area would be much easier because you just mark the town. Then you go do your exploring and then just recall straight to the town. Every time. But we don't have marker recall because we didn't take gray magic. Because I thought, hey, gray magic is for sissies. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Frick. Gray magic is for sissies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's actually a very useful thing. Uh, also, Polymorph apparently is a damn good spell, as we have seen it used against us many times. And I should probably pick it up as a crowd control method. Get rid of at least one enemy. 
I apparently should also be dumping stats into Constitution. We have some problems with our people dying. What the hell? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's go to town. I think we're done. Let's head. Let's not head into enemies. We need to head to town. Um, so, west to Frostford. Because this way. Looks like we've been this way, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that it is this way. Also, there's lamps and, like, roads and stuff, so I'm pretty sure this is the correct path to the city. We'll go try and turn in this quest. If it's not completed, then we'll go back next video and see what we can find for any more undead lying around. If we are done, then excellent, we're done. Uh, let's just look at the map. We're almost there. It's down this way. It's sort of in a weird location. We'll grab an inn while we're there. We will grab some fuds. Speaking of food, my breakfast is ready and I am super excited. I decided that I wasn't going to like eat out as much anymore. So what I did this last weekend was I made a scramble type thing. So I got eggs, potatoes, sausage, and with a little bit of onions and mushrooms. It's sort of like a mini omelette, except with scrambled eggs instead of uh, like omelette shaped eggs. Yeah. That's, I'll stick with that. And I uh, just baked it. It was, it was pretty good. It's really good, actually. Where's the administrator's office? I want to make sure this quest is done. Hey, you. It's all clear. Excellent, thank you. And pass my gratitude on to the council, if you would. Sure. 100 experience. Nice. So we finished that quest. And now we're going to look around town, try to find some more side quests, because this is the area we're supposed to be in. And I need to get some more experience before going to that desert area, or else we'll get crushed into the ground. And I don't want to buy a house. I do want a weapon shop, though. The frozen candle. The frozen casket in. Let's go there and just rest. In the next video, we'll do some shopping. Actually, you know, maybe I'll just do shopping between videos. And, uh... In the next one. Is it this one? we will try to find some requests. So, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please hit them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Have yourselves a wonderful day.